What equipment are you using to create your courses? You talked about how when you started your YouTube channel, you is you know you just kind of started bare bones. You had kids mm -hmm. crying in the background. What for people who are just starting out um, and maybe even teaching art classes specifically? Do you have advice on how to create an art class and what video equipment and audio equipment and editing equipment are you using? <laughs> Uh, well, I've always tried to not spend a lot of money, uh, especially when you're first starting out and you haven't sold anything yet. Use what you have and make it work. People, you know, the, the content is what matters more than how it's delivered, uh, at least especially in that early stage. And uh, so I started out with just, yeah, a crappy little video cam. I couldn't do HD or anything like that. And uh, editing, I just used the free software that came with my computer. Uh, now I have spent a little bit of money and it's hard with art because you need, a, you need to film close to your work surface, but you need to film a large area. And so I was, I've, I'm still looking for the perfect kind of wide angle that, that, will, that will work with what I'm doing. Uh, right now I'm using actually the same webcam that I'm using right now works fairly well for when I'm doing live, live classes, live broadcasts. And then I just use, actually lately I've been enjoying the camera that comes with my Nikon uh, digital mirrorless camera, which is a Nikon 1J5. Uh, my mic is just this little Samson Go mic and uh, it's just small and portable. And, and most of the time when I'm filming a class, my, my mouth is inches from the camera. So my problem is actually picking up too much sound, breathing and, and uh, getting all excited and your, your <laughs> heart rate accelerates and you start panting as you're painting something really wonderful. It sounds a little gross, but uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, that's more of an issue than not being able to get good sound. And uh, so I always have to edit out all my snufflings uh, in, in my painting classes. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, I just I'm still kind of using what I have. I'm, I'm not. And, and then the main the hardest part for me was getting the camera at the right angle. And I actually have just a standard tripod that I have to wait and tilt. And then I film everything upside down and then I have to flip it in my editing software. Mm -hmm. And right now I'm using uh, AVS video editor which again, um, an inexpensive uh, video editing program that does everything I need it to do at this time. Great, and, and that's so great, because I think, I don't, I don't know if my mom's gonna watch this, but if she does, that's like the perfect, like basic equipment that she would need to get started, or yeah. anyone that would need mm -hmm. to get started. And for someone that's looking to create an art class, how are your courses structured? What, mm -hmm. what tips do you have for, you mentioned like you had a mini course on how to do tree trees, mm -hmm. but like for that, or do you structure your courses in a, a way? Do you just kind of set your camera down and start painting and you're go until you're done with the painting or how does that work? Uh, well, I filmed uh, last or in January, I filmed a course with Craftsy, craftsy.com. Uh, they flew me out to Denver and I got to get a little bit of uh, experience with a, working with a prof professional production crew. And that was a real uh, interesting experience because, you know, I just at home, I just wing it and delete all the outtakes. But um, with that, with Craftsy, I had to be very um, very structured in writing a script for my courses, which was very useful to help me uh, to learn a little bit more about making my courses more structured. Although I do kind of like uh, keeping them a little bit looser, just that feeling of working with me in my studio. Uh, I like to mimic what my studio working method would be. So uh, in my recent courses, what I like to do is warm up with uh, exercises uh, and then move into, you know, exercises to help you warm up to introduce some basic concepts then we develop the concepts and then we put it all together in you know some serious paintings and that's worked well for me uh, so I do start now with an outline I'm still not writing scripts or anything like that because I like the natural delivery of uh, how I would teach uh, at home in my studio I also think it's important for me to teach here in my studio I do have local classes that I teach a couple of times a year and that gives me the opportunity to really observe uh, beginning painters and uh, you know address the specific issues that they may have. Got it. I'm, awesome. I think you might have had a second part to that question, and I've completely forgotten what it is. Uh, yeah, no, I think that was great. Okay. Just yeah, about the structure. No, that was really yeah. good. 